Welcome back to another video from your friends here at Altitude University. If you're worried about the possible ban on DJI drones, you'll definitely want to check out this video. We may have a solution for you. Before we begin, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons so we can continue to provide you with more drone related content. With it looking like there may be a ban on DJI drones coming soon, now is a good time to start thinking about what you will fly if the ban is in place. Our friends at Genpak Drones were kind enough to let us test out two of the drones from Anzu Robotics, the Anzu Raptor and Anzu Raptor T. In this video, we are going to talk about the Anzu Raptor. And just so you know, this is our honest review of the drone. We are not getting paid by Genpak Drones or Anzu Robotics. You'll notice right off the bat that the Anzu Raptor looks a lot like a DJI drone other than the green color of the hull. That's because Anzu has a partnership or licensing deal with DJI. It's essentially a DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise series using Aloft software. Since the proposed ban is focused on drones made in China, Anzu manufactures drones in Malaysia and stores the data on US servers. Now, some politicians are already asking if this is just a way to get around the bill, so we'll see what happens from that. However, for now, Anzu is a great option to get DJI quality without worrying about the ban. Here's what comes in the box for the basic setup. First, you get the Anzu Raptor aircraft. You get one controller with the built-in screen, one battery, charging station, propellers, a hard case, and the manuals. The Anzu Raptor is a high-performance drone built for demanding professional applications in sectors like agriculture, surveying, and public safety. It features a four-thirds CMOS wide camera sensor with 45 megapixels, providing stunning high-resolution imagery, which is ideal for detailed aerial data collection. The drone is powered by Anzu and Aloft Technology software, and as we said before, all data is hosted on US-based servers. With a maximum flight time of up to 45 minutes and a nine-mile range, the Anzu Raptor is great for long-duration operations, covering large areas without needing frequent recharges. Its advanced flight control system offers precision navigation and can be paired with real-time data transmission, enabling users to make informed decisions on the fly. Like the Mavic 3 Enterprise, you can purchase accessories for the drone. Here are two that we didn't get to test but are worth considering if you buy this drone. The first is the RTK or real-time kinematic module. This significantly increases the positioning accuracy essential for precision tasks such as surveying and mapping. Next is the loudspeaker. Great for communicating in search and rescue missions where direct contact with people is crucial or in crowd control situations where you need to deliver clear messages without getting too close. If you have flown the Mavic series before, you'll feel right at home with the Anzu Raptor. Once you power up the drone and controller and click on the Aloft icon, the flying experience is pretty much the same. It's a great drone. I love how it handles and flight with steady but responsive controls. The gimbal is super smooth and the image quality is fantastic. Let's take a look at some of the images we shot. Overall, I think the Anzu Raptor is a great drone and should be considered if you are looking for DJI quality without getting banned. Thanks again to Genpak Drones for letting us borrow the Anzu Raptor. If you want to learn more about Genpak Drones, they are a leading provider of commercial drone solutions, offering a wide range of unmanned aerial systems and related technologies for industries such as agriculture, inspection, and public safety. Check out the link in the comments below. That's it for this week's video. From all of us at Altitude University, stay safe out there and happy flying.